So it's the Canadian Grand Prix weekend, which is one of the best tracks on the calendar. Really pushed the limits, high speeds, controversial pass, and it's home to the, one of the, if not the greatest Formula One race of all time in 2011. Let's get into this weekend. So this is the grid for the Canadian Grand Prix. It's Pierre Gasly on pole from Max Verstappen in P2. P3 is Valtteri Bottas. P4 is Carlos Sainz. P5 is Lewis Hamilton. P6 is Brown. P7 Lance Stroll at his home Grand Prix. P8 Charles Leclerc. Rounding out the top 10 in P9 is Lando Norris with Kevin Magnussen P10. P11 is Nico Hulkenberg with Sergio Perez P12. P13 is George Russell with P14 Lucas Weber. P15 is Roman Grosjean and P16 is Sebastian Vettel. P17 and 18 is Alex Albon and Antonio Giovinazzi. And on the final row of the grid is the two Renaults, it's Ricardo P19 and Butler P20. This is the track then, 2.7 miles, 14 corners round the circuit Gilles Villeneuve here in Canada. Let's go down to the grid. Hi guys, Brown here and welcome to the F1 career mode here today for part 47 at the Canadian Grand Prix for my favourite track on the calendar. Unfortunately, I was going to try and make this race even better. I was going to do a live commentary, but after I did it, the voiceover was really crackly and just terrible and I physically couldn't use it in the video. So where I've salvaged some of it, I'm going to be putting that in the video for some of the things that happen. Um, but apart from that, it's just going to be like a normal video. So getting into this weekend then, we are going to be doing um, a two stop starting on the softs going on to the mediums taking them as far as they can go and then back onto the softs at the end of the race as everything goes smoothly and there's no safety cars or anything like that um if you're new around here make sure to subscribe so you never missed f1 content like this let's get into this grand prix then It's like it's out of the way, but golf got a good start. Hamilton, he's got a good start. We'll try and get to the inside. Hey, bad boy, what the hell are you doing, man? Hamilton? Well, I thought he'd back out. We've got one on the collision, a bit of damage. Now we don't. Looking to be free. But I still. He's just decided that we're not even on the offside. And then he just started to hit us. So we're down into P4. Should have had it back. We started in P6, so momentarily there, we did get in four positions. Hamilton's behind us, then it's kind of science, but that's us, he's not a main target in this race after that. So skip on to lap two, and Lewis Hamilton is still over, all over the back of us now. He's going to try going to our inside in the new DRS zone. We defend around the outside, go back to the inside for the second part of the chicane, and we do defend there. Now Carlos Sainz is coming under pressure from Sergio Perez in the racing point. Sergio Perez trying to go the long way round, all the way around the outside of Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz just about defending him off there. Here on lap two, they're still side by side, and Sergio Perez gets the job done there in the racing point. But Hamilton's not done with us there. He's going to try and go around the outside at the final chicane. He bails out of that one, thinks better of it, but now he is left defending Sergio Perez. As Sergio Perez goes to the inside, down the inside he goes, and now around the outside, and... Hamilton just about defending off the racing point there into that first chicane pretty much and he does just about but the racing point gets the job done just about I think he's just got his nose out there into the second chicane down the inside Hamilton's still there and Hamilton defends and look at the time with game because they are battling that hard and the racing point is not done yet as he pulls to the outside of Hamilton tries to sail around the outside and now he's left defending Carlos Sainz in the Red Bull as they head down to the hairpin Lewis is 
perhaps got a little bit of a gap here heading out the hairpin and now the racing point of Sergio Perez I think it is is now going to be left defending Carlos Sainz the Spaniard in the Red Bull but he is in fact going back after Lewis Hamilton he's going to get the job done in fact it is Lance Stroll sorry calling Perez for so long and Stroll couldn't get the job done but he's going to go back to the inside and now all the way around the outside he thinks about it does Stroll but he couldn't do anything and he is still behind the Brit in the Mercedes and on lap 4 this is still an ongoing battle to keep it on to the end of lap 4 Stroll is still not done yet of Hamilton he's going to try and go the long way around the outside Hamilton defends into that final chicane but now he's going to be left defending and the Red Bull who is actually coming under pressure from Charles Leclerc Leclerc trying to go around the outside of Carlos Sainz there that was never going to happen Carlos Sainz was on the ball Charles Leclerc was probably wishing that one but here comes Carlos Sainz around the outside at the final chicane gets the job done and now Stroll is going to be left defending Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari Hamilton's had to break away and Charles Leclerc swaps Lance Stroll at the dummy and now Leclerc trying to go down the inside into turn 3 and now into the chicane down the inside he's still there it's Charles Leclerc but Lance Stroll squeezes him out but that was very optimistic move by Charles Leclerc to try something like that but on to the end of lap 6 and can he get past the Canadian here and his home crowd is going to pull to the outside and he's going to go all the way around the outside at the final chicane he's still there and now the McLaren of Hulkenberg is kind of licking his lips here and he's going to think about it into turn 1 but it's too far back and Lance Stroll defends Charles Leclerc again and look at the gap that um, Carlos Sainz and Hamilton has got has gained on this pack as there goes Carlos Sainz past Lewis Hamilton and now is beginning to chase after Russ but on lap 9 the pit stops are underway everyone into the pits and out of the pits comes Valtteri Bottas he's put on the mediums and he's going to slot back into this race in between our teammate George Russell and just be and just ahead of Sergio Perez into the pits comes the race leader one at the end of lap nine on to a set of the mediums as well does a max for Stappen and now he's going to try and go down the pit lane and probably retain the lead after everyone's pitted but for now he's going to be in a bit of space as he is just about going to be out um, the racing point there actually by quite a mile with his teammate is still stuck behind Lance Stroll there skipping on to, to the end of lap 10 Pierre Gasly now the race leader still let to pit he was sitting in a comfortable P2 and on to the end of um, lap 10 a couple of seconds later after Pierre Gasly was some distance up the road Carlos Sainz is going to pit and so is Lewis Hamilton then and he's gonna, they're both going to go on to another set of the soft tyres so they are committing themselves to the two stop the two stop of course the more like, preferred strategy as that is our teammate George Russell in the pits and it's pretty much um, everyone in the pits there on lap 11 and Whereas Carlos Sainz has had a great pit stop and gained a lot of time on Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton has had a shock and he's lost out to the McLaren there. And on to the end of lap 11 we go wide because these tyres are done. And Max Verstappen, the race leader, has actually caught the back of us now. So the race leader has a, a whole pit stop on us and we're only 11 laps in which is a bit annoying. And Max Verstappen does overtake us as we will go straight on and into the pits we will, we will be going on to the set of the mediums 
and just see how far those tyres can take us in this race we trundle down the pit lane hopefully we can have some more pace because those soft tyres were so bad hopefully these mediums are a little bit better we're gonna come out though we've actually lost out to Carlos Sainz staying out the extra lap really didn't help us um, and now we're gonna be left trying to re-catch Carlos Sainz but in fact it's been horrendous because we had no pace Carlos Sainz is pulling a couple of attempts a lap and now after the stops Mac and Sebastian Vettel came out of the pits and is going to pull an absolute wonder move all the way around the outside of Lewis Hamilton at the hairpin you have to be you have to get up pretty early to even get past Lewis Hamilton in a race let alone go all the way around the outside of him like he's not even there and now Sebastian Vettel is going to be chasing us and on to lap 17 Sebastian Vettel has caught us and after we go wide a little bit we now will have to defend him here we go so here you go where do you want to go pick your side outside okay there you go so Jeff was just whilst I was still trying to defend Sebastian Vettel they're giving us some alternate strategies that I really didn't care about from that camera angle my kind of injustice didn't kind of get served that's the angle from my perspective and I feel like my reaction kind of deserves that because it didn't look that bad off here but on board you can see I was I was down the inside of Vettel before he just turns into the corner and everyone now on lap 22 is going to come into the pits all those kind of soft tyre runners to make their final stops onto a set of the mediums compound tyre Nico Hulkenberg is going to pit for the mediums so is Lewis Hamilton was in so is Charles Leclerc and pretty much everyone our teammates in there as well they head around now on lap 20 towards the end of lap 22 and here comes George Russell he is defending he is defending um Devon Butler there couldn't get through and now he's gonna try and re-overtake Devon Butler here Devon Butler now round the outside can he do it into turn one yes he can that's a good move by our teammate George Russell. I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm going to go to the outside and I'm going to sit down the inside. And oops, we, did you want to get past the bottles? No, you didn't. And the 50 cars out, okay. Hulkenberg's just retired. So out of the race goes Nico Hulkenberg and we are going to pit and we are going to go onto the set of the hard tyres and just go to the end um, one thing that kind of happened was actually Bottas came out of the pit in front of me and he was on the set of the hearts and I was kind of like before the safety car came out really confused why he was on it on the hearts but now with the safety car coming out Bottas is just put absolutely worldy on the strategy side and he could possibly win this race out of the pits we come then and why we've got to get the position back to Grosjean miles at the road from him wow that was really random whilst I have to get the place back to Grosjean that was kind of really odd I don't really understand as everyone's bunched up here and on lap 25 the safety car is gonna come in and we will be getting the race back underway Valtteri Bottas you can see sitting pretty in P2 Charles Leclerc will lead everyone round and a kind of justice was served here because I put my foot down I was trying to stay behind Roman Grosjean and I was literally side by side with him trying to kind of get ready so when Charles went I could get past Grosjean straight away and the game kind of just Grosjean broke and I just overtook Grosjean 
whilst we were still under safety car conditions and the game didn't even care it didn't say I had to give the position back it just gave me the, the position so on lap 26 the race is going to get back on the way and we have to get back on the attack we have to get past this Toro Rosso in front of us we have to get after Carlos Sainz but as we go for the lunge down the inside I think it is Alex Albon and he spins us there we do a great job to hold it in the first place go deep and we are now going to be left defending Sergio Perez up the straight then it is Lewis Hamilton then it is Lance Stroll in the O racing point then it is Lando Norris and then Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez is going to try to go down our inside we defend that somehow and now Sergio Perez can be left defending Lewis Hamilton but Lewis Hamilton's got a poor exit as well and he's going to be left defending Lance Stroll and it all stays how it is that was kind of a bit more dramatic than it probably should have been now needed to be on lap 28 though here we come got a poor exit Sergio Perez is going to go to the inside of us we're going to try and defend to the outside but now can we try and do something here Hamilton goes to our inside but so does Stroll and we are out we've hit the wall we've been spun round and round and round we're miles off the track we have half a front wing and Hamilton what are you doing we are down we're in last place we're going to have to pit and what seemed to be a pretty good and set of points tally is going to turn into none here the, here's the replay and it's absolutely I don't even know what to make of that that was oh my god this is the onboard so I didn't move I literally didn't move on my line Hamilton went for a decent gap Lance Stroll went for a gap that didn't exist and we can have a lonely six or so laps this is the replay from Lewis Hamilton's perspective look I don't move you can see that I literally don't move there's Stroll on the outside but I guess the main suspect is Lance Stroll so he's going to go for it on Hamilton Hamilton goes for it on us and there was space but there wasn't space for three cars and our race is pretty much over and now Lance Stroll is going to get the run on Hamilton and after wiping us out pretty much he's going to get past Lewis Hamilton <sighs> wow into the pits we go and we're probably going to finish first now and last thank you Lewis Hamilton So that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? So, oh, so it's going to be a bit of a boring end to the race for us. As this is Hamilton now, just behind Lance Stroll, and Lance Stroll is actually going to retire from the Grand Prix. He's slowing down, but he just stops in the middle of the track and he turns back on. And there's contract with Lucas Weber, and Lance Stroll is on a mad one. He's, he's just wiped out Lucas Weber. And oh my god, I didn't see that at the first glance. Devon Butler's just wiped out Lucas Weber as well. It's all kicking off. We have a VSC for the first time on the game. I have a VSC. And look at just from that angle, it looks like Weber's full. But what can he do? There's the contact. The VSC, though, literally was out for about five seconds. As we go on to the last lap, it's going to be a win for Max Verstappen his second win of the season I believe is going to be Pierre Gasly to come home in P2 Valtteri Bottas P3 Vettel P4 Sainz P5 Perez P6 when he gets to the line Lando Norris 
would be P7, George Russell P8, Hamilton P9, P10 is Charles Leclerc, Butler is P12 with his teammate behind him. P13 is going to be Magnussen, 14th is Giovinazzi, 15th is Alex Albon. And heading up to line P16 is going to be Roman Grosjean and we are going to come home for an annoying and lonely P17. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Max Verstappen after his win takes the lead, now a full race win ahead of closest rival Carlos Sainz on 101 points. He's the first driver to break into the triple digits, then stroke to then Red Bull still lead but only by two points ahead of Ferrari on 170 points. Alfa Romeo are third on 122. We up P4 with 69 points so I really hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've enjoyed the live commentary but I hope you enjoyed this make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye I went deep there it looks like Strauss going to go for it Hamilton <laughs> And it's all gone.